it is no longer news that actors in nigeria often will beg for money it's not something that is new no not at all when they are sick majority of them will come out asking for funds that is because most of them you know maybe they've spent what they have on that health issue and it has not come to a point where they need further assistance it is not something that is bad but people have berated them saying why didn't you guys save money why don't you come up with you are most of you are educated why don't you come up with this insurance plan have an insurance company and make sure that it's a reliable one mr ibu a comedian he has entertained a lot of people he's out asking for money and his wife said something that got the nollywood industry that mr ibu belongs to angry and the public relations officer ketensho has decided to break silence and she did it straightforward without coloring her words she made it clear that they've done a lot that mr ibu you have to mind what your wife is saying and you guys need to know what you're saying because you cannot fool people all because you want money let us listen to what she has to say and we'll talk more but before then like and share this video subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell if you have not done so it's very important let's get right into it good morning my attention has been drawn to a video circulating on social media as of last night regarding the video that uh, mr Ibu's wife made let me state here categorically that this will be the last statement i will make on this issue the crux of the matter is that someone is ill asking for help and the focus is for him to get better as of 2022 2021 when issues arose concerning his health i was not the public relations officer for the actors guild my election into this post was this year as an executive of the actors guild of nigeria let me state categorically and again vehemently that agn has been of help to mr ibu as an association and as esteemed members of the guild i'm not talking of those who are not affiliated with the guild who have also made contributions as of two years ago let me address the boy purportedly mr ibu's wife's brother he mentioned my name at least three times this is not about me but to set the record straight the reason i went there one was because of the person involved who I respect and who was instrumental to moving him from the other hospital where he was not receiving adequate care to the present hospital whose location I cannot mention I went there I was given access into the room another actor was there medical personnel were there his wife was there my first words to him and I quote what have you done to yourself in his usual jovial manner he smirked he smiled he was in a bit of pain but he was jovial food was brought in he asked for food his wife proceeded to feed him i do not want to go into details of the conversations that we had about the circumstances leading to him being in this critical situation i know what she said to me I'm not one to bandy words. I do appreciate the fact that she is at her wit's end because of the situation anybody would be. But to say that AGN light is not true. The theatrics was a bit much, but it's okay. I'm not angry. We are not angry. But I state again categorically that AGN has been of help to Mr. Ibu in the past, 
members of the guild have been, and I'm not talking about those who are also outside of the guild, because it's freedom of association. I also want to ask Jasmine, his daughter, to please reveal the contents of the message and the voice note she sent to the president, Mr. Emeka Rulas AGZ, on the what's the date again? 9th of June, 2022, the voice note, and the message she sent to him, profusely thanking him for stepping in for the family at their time of need. AGN is not a charitable organization. It is not a bank. It is not a hospital. We are not compelled to reveal the inner workings of our guild and our association to members of the public. It is a private association. The best the guild can do is to make sure that members have access to critical information, access to things that will aid their welfare, like the health insurance scheme. Know about events and activities that will benefit the members, make sure that working conditions are good. We are not, and I am not, a court jester to display on social media, to perform in a circus. That is not who I am, that is not who we are. We are a respected guild. Now, it is freedom of association. In a case where someone has a recurring malaise, it is left for you to try and sort yourself out. The guild can only do so much. This is the truth. I don't know of any other association that makes all these things available readily to its members. I sympathize with her and how she feels. The critical focus is for Mr. Ibu to get well. And I'm so glad he's getting support from the public. But to come out and cast aspersions, try to smear my name, it's not nice. I value my integrity. I work very hard for my name. And for me to take on this position as the Director of Communications for the Actors Guild, it's something I care about. I care about people. If you check my page, I, I don't fight. I, I only fight rapists, murderers, and killers. I am one person that will go to war till the end, till the last. I'm the one person you will find in the front, not at the back. I understand her emotions, but that video was not necessary. I maintain again for the third time that AGN has been of help to Mr. Ibu and his family in the past. The records are there, bank records are there, bank statements are there, donations that were made privately to him, personally to him. I do not want us to carry on throwing mud here and there. It is not nice. I do, however, recognize that there are people on social media who stop in trade is to be the purveyor of mischief, denigration of others. I pray that a day will come where you will not be in a situation where you will need help. And the same people whom you have casted as specials on will be the ones you will need their help. Social media is a place to heal, to help, not to drag, to pull down. When the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. I have no more to say. AGN did not lie. Welcome back. You heard what she said. Uh, well, like I said, not all of them are prosperous in that industry and those that are prosperous seems to be the women alone that's what it seems to be 
because they have um, bum bum and they can always have side you know here and there they can you know whilst put out their craft they can also put out another craft they can also sell something else I, i'm not saying all of them do these things but majority of them will do this because uh, it's easier for them they don't need to advertise themselves whenever they feature in a movie but likely if they are to dress in a particular way it's more or less like an advert to whoever is out there and there are those in nigeria who have stolen go government money they they are only interested in uh, actresses like who, who is the latest actress now there was a time that uh, a particular apostle the report is that uh, he likes to test any actress upcoming actress new actress they help him you know arrange all of those girls and he does what he wants to do and gives them money five thousand dollars like that church money business money why is he into this i don't know is it true i don't know did he try it once or twice i don't know is he still doing it till date i don't know i can't really say no not at all because i'm not privy to it this lover shared stories of this and um, it got a lot of people talking the apostle reacted and said he is a generator and that uh, they should drag him as much as they want that uh, they are so bad that they want to pull him down they are saying things that he had not done that is it possible only him all of these women meaning with which gola am i using anyway back to the issue on ground like i said majority of this you know I don't know. Majority of them are wasteful. They are wasteful. Whatever they get, they just spend on different women, enjoyment, drink, party, and all of that. While some of them, you know, they are not really making much. At times, they will be asked to feature in a movie as this and as that. And um, they will say, don't worry, I'm going to pay you once we, you know how we do the thing. Once we sell the marketer, this and that, marketer has not dropped this and that. Okay, come and shoot in this one. Okay, I will give you another um, role to play in this one. I will give you the lead role. Don't worry. So the money that comes from that one will join. You know, too much argument and them. Um, you don't want to fight and allow them to blacklist you because that's how they roll. So it, it's, a, it's a cartel and there is a lot of things happening there. But then people said, not in the case of Mr. Ibu. That Mr. Ibu, you have... Um, you have, um, you know, shined too much in the industry. But at times, people mistaking popularity, fame for money. You have to talk about the returns. I think Mr. Ibo has gotten to a point in the industry where he can talk about shooting movies for himself, doing things for himself. We've seen other comedians do the same. They have done movies for themselves. They have done movies for themselves and... They have promoted themselves. They've done things for themselves. Mr. Ibu probably must have done the same thing. He's not broke. But when health issues come knocking at your door and you've spent a lot of money, but like those type of health issues that are hell bent on sucking you dry, millions, millions, millions. People are berating him, say ordinary seven million, you know, get seven million, seven million. But you shoot um, short clips of yourself enjoying with different women. And I'm like, how much is the enjoyment? Drinking a bottle of um, beer and some, you know, cheap beer and there does not amount to several million. At least somebody will still relax, Nabi. So, and you have children that you have to cater for, pay tuition fee, take care of them. So, it's not easy. May we not just have uh, terminal diseases, sickness that will finish what you have or threaten to finish the little cash that you have. That's it. So, the solution, like I said, is for them to have a proper insurance uh, uh, register to his proper insurance company and begin to work towards it because it's like only the women are the ones that are making it in the industry they are the only ones making it in the industry that's how it looks like um after one or two movies you see they've already built a house of course it's not from the movie while some got good cash like those that uh have uh, we've seen on netflix they got good money good cash you know they got good money good money although netflix does not really pay that much netflix does not pay that much um to african producers and um marketers they don't really pay that much 
to African producers. That's what we heard. They said they pay their counterparts in the West more money than they pay them. I think um, some of them end up with um, $80,000. Some end up with uh, maybe, I don't know, something related. I don't, I don't even know if they are, they, they, they've been paid millions. Let's just say some of them end up with $80 million. $80 million, you know, depending on what they are bringing to the table. So some of them end up with that amount of money, $80 million, $20 million, $30, $10, $5 no, million. And this, they have to, you know, pay for all that, uh, everything that they have put into the movie. But they said the other um, counterpart of theirs, on the same Netflix, they get paid huge amount of money. We are talking about some of them pay $300 million and... I don't know how Netflix does this thing. Maybe they have like, you know, they, they have done their, their study and they have looked at the content that is being brought and who, who is going to watch and how much is going to be paid to watch it. You know, this is how these things work. If you, um, you produce movie in Nigeria and the context of the movie is not global yet, you've not made it international, you've not been able to reach and break barriers and borders like how the Nigerian music ha has done. If you've not done that, then Netflix might not be because they have to also check and balance. They have to also look at it like, wait, who are going to watch this? Okay, let's say um, people that are looking to watch in the UK that are Nigerians or Africans, those that are willing to watch in the US, what are the quantity? How much are they ready to put into it? In Nigeria, how much are they ready to put? How much do they pay for subscription? You know, those are the things they would probably want to look at. So some of them, you know, they've been like, you know, Tony Abraham, she said, well, I made a lot of money. Say the first money that she got a lump was 40 million naira. That's that's a lot. That's 40, I mean, today, exchange rate. That's $40,000. So it means that that movie that she featured in, the producer of the movie was paid, you know, was paid probably 80 million. Okay, let's just try to be fair. Um, probably paid $20 million. $10 million, $5 million, $4 million, $3 million for them to, you know, for the producer to now say, okay, this, take $40 million, you take this one, take that one, take that one. That's how it rolls. So, guys, what are your thoughts about this one? Drop your comment, like, and share. See you in the next update.